Hello and welcome everybody. This is Payne Street Nation StarCraft II tournament and this variety of the tournament is the Diamond and Masters Players League. So we'll be do we'll mostly be casting these games because they are the uh, best players and will probably give us the most interesting games. But I tell you what, we casted a platinum gold game with this fellow right here who's casting it with me last week and it was a really good game executive how are you doing doing great just got back from mlg raleigh stoked to be casting some games oh yeah that was a lot of fun wasn't it we both uh went to mlg raleigh saw some excellent play uh bomber came out the winner in that tournament a terran oh player. man that finals is so intense the most epic games of the evening and that's exactly what you want to see right there at the end the most epic games and uh Let's uh, actually get into this game. Uh, it's the Zerg Cheesy. Hopefully we're going to see some cheese from Cheesy. And uh, the Protoss Silver. So a good Zerg versus Protoss, a matchup that I very much enjoy seeing. Um, Classic matchup. Yeah. <sighs> Silver opening with the very standard gateway on 12. Yeah, an early uh, spawning pool for Cheesy, uh, who's actually got his... I thought he was going to go for his extractor, but he's going to extractor trick after spawning pool. Uh, pretty interesting. Double extractor trick, actually. Yeah, a double. And... Looks like... Cheesy only opting to... <laughs> this is a very early push from Cheesy. He got up that uh, that early pool and is sending out his first couple of ling, his first six lings. And right now, there's nothing to defend uh, for Silver here. He is going to block with that cybernetic score, which is going to make those uh, Zerglings not be able to rush in and go after those probes. But he's going to have free shots until that Zealot comes out. Chrono boosting out the Zealot now. The Zerglings working away at the cybernetic score building there. Now that's going to be huge if he can take out that cybernetic score, but the Zealot is going to pop out right now. Oh no, he's stuck on the other side. Is he going to... He cannot attack those Zerglings. Oh, he missed Rally by Silver. This is huge. He cannot do anything to his opponent right now. He's going to be able to take out both of these buildings, I think. Wow, this he wisely. is... wisely opting to bring down all three buildings a little at a time, take them all down at once. Yeah, he's building another gateway and another pylon right now. Uh, Cheesy probably not going to be able to do a whole lot once he gets in there, but building those extra buildings really is going to set him back in his money, and Cheesy's just going to go ahead and get out of there. He's already done the damage, and wow, that was huge right there. What an inconvenient thing to happen uh, in your opening game is Protoss over left with two zealots trying to rebuild a gateway, two gateways on the way, and uh, his cyber core completely destroyed, set him far back in his tech. Yeah. Yeah, still... Wisely taking the opportunity to expand. Still doesn't have a gateway. Gonna have to wait on that to get another cybernetic score, and yeah, Cheesy's just free to expand right now, get his macro up a little bit, making roaches, I think that's a very smart move. Uh, very soon he's going to have a force that I think that's I think Silver's not going to be able to contend with. Cybercore going down for Silver, second gateway popping up, and Cheesy continuing to poke and prod at the front with those uh, six slow Zerglings, just seeing what's happening. And Silver, very strangely, opting to throw down a Nexus. Yeah, I, I, you know, I figure right now he thinks this is the only thing he can do. If he can catch up economically with the Zerg, then he's going to be able to surpass him in uh, his perhaps unit composition. But he's going to have to be able to hold off these roaches that are probably going to come out pretty soon for Cheesy. Uh, maybe if Cheesy goes after the economy for a bit longer, it may give uh, Silver the opportunity to catch up. But Cheesy's got all the vision he wants right now with this Overlord in the base. Still got these five slow Zerglings hanging around in this bottom right hallway. I don't know what he'll be saving those for. Perhaps uh, morph into Banelings later and sneak into the money line, A, eh? a la uh, Coca. <laughs> was an amazing, amazing Baneling uh, strike on those 
uh, on those SCVs. And yes, I am casting in kill, but I'm not going to respond to you because I'm casting. Mm. The clutch burned there. Silver putting down a few sentries there for the added defense. Uh, natural expansion just finishing up for him. Will we see a here's the probe transfer? Would be a critical time for uh, Cheese to attack. It looks like he doesn't have the vision though. Interesting enough, Cheesy going for metabolic boost, the speed zerglings, and still hasn't made any roaches. Actually, he's making four right now. Uh, as uh, I don't know why necessarily he's getting that speed. I think the roaches could clean it up, but um, opting to cover his bases. And Silver, you know, right now it doesn't look like he's been hurt that bad. He's got his second expansion up. It's already producing a lot of minerals for him. If we look at the income tab, he's actually not too far behind in that income. Uh, and I, I think maybe he can get back into this game. Those Zerglings not going to be able to do anything with the Zealots protecting the money. So, you know, maybe this game isn't as over as we thought it was. Unfortunately, the uh, minerals getting very high, almost a thousand in the bank for Silver. Needs to spend some of that. Where he has fallen behind is his production, throwing down a few more gateways that'll bring him to five once those finish. Cheesy does have a, a lot of roaches right now, uh, seven roaches, and really still opting for that economy. He's got all of his extractors up right now, spreading his creep, doing all the things that Zergs do if Zergs want to win. And I still think he's a little bit ahead in this game, uh, just because he's got the 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 ability to make a lot of units right now, and he has that sustained economy going for oh, him. Oh yeah, and his tech's further advanced, and the drone count is just vastly superior for Cheesy. Looking at the supply, uh, Silver is down by 24 supply, and uh, interestingly, both players are supply blocked. Uh, uh, yeah, Cheesy's going for Burrow as well as Glial Reconstitution. Uh, I don't, I don't think I've ever called it that. That's, let's roaches move underground. <laughs> that will render the force fields for this, uh, army of, uh, eight sentries from Silver useless as the roaches can just burrow and tunnel beneath them. Oh, I'm actually sorry, that is actually roach speed, but I've never heard it called that. <laughs> so I guess he yeah. will, he probably will be getting that uh, those tunneling claws at some point, I imagine. Uh, it looks like actually Silver's moving out with a large force of sentries and zealots. Uh, that, that probe that was going to put an advancing pylon there goes down to the zerglings with their map control and he's taking out another pylon. Uh, I don't think this is enough to take on all those roaches. Silver with the hidden pylon on the left side of the base on the high ground there. I'm not uh, real sure what he plans to do with that. It's a bit far out to be used for very effective reinforcements. Yeah, Cheesy trying to take it out, but very uh, unsuccessful with those zealots there. The zealots have actually decided to move out, which is probably good because those roaches would have taken them out anyway. Those roaches are going to be able to clean up that pylon very effectively. Uh, Plus one attack is done for Silver, and interestingly he has opted to throw down plus one armor instead of plus two attack, probably because uh, I don't see a Twilight Council for him anywhere. And the and Roach is pressing in on the expansion yeah, here of comes Silver. The push. Uh, some good uh, force fields there, but look at that burrow, those burrowed Roaches uh, just biding their time. And I don't think Silver has any vision going for him right now. He's going to try to get some out right now. Uh, but these Roaches, now back to full health, going to be able to do so much damage to all of these units. I don't think Silver's going to be able to overcome this. Yeah, I think this may be the game here. Yep, there's the GG. Uh, very, very good game for Cheesy, who that... that that one little thing, I mean, you don't see Protoss fully wall off very often, and maybe this is one of the reasons why Silver fully walled himself off, and when that first Zealot popped out, it popped out on the wrong side, which gave uh, Cheesy just free range to attack his, his opponent's buildings and take both of them out. He missed Rally there by Silver at the start of this game. All right, we're going on to game two of Cheesy versus Silver. Stay tuned with us.